The Tesla Model Y was one of the world's best-selling cars in Q1 2023. But what many don't realize is that to reach this pinnacle, Elon and his Tesla team dedicated 15 years of relentless work and refinement. And his secret ingredient to such success? A deep-seated obsession with design. And that's what we're talking about today. Chapter 20 and 21 of the biography of Elon Musk. I name the big theme of today's conversation is determination. About Musk is that he's so focused on the mission first and then little by little focus on the small details about business, right? And this is what he said about Elon. He clearly had already come to the conclusion that to have a sustainable future, we had to electrify cars. And for Elon, mission always come first. And this is the story about they are working together to put a prototype. And the prototype costs about 70000 And Elon argued and constantly mentioned to his team that nobody's going to pay anywhere near that for something that looks like crap, which that is the number one principle when he comes to designing the roster, which is it has to be beautiful, right? And here we can see a picture of a GM EV1. It looks, um, no offense, just totally like crap compared to the roadster, right? And when he's working with a team, that Elon's question always tended to be technical. And when it comes to the details of the battery pack, motor, and the materials, right? Because although he is a CEO or he's a businessman, but he constantly thinking things when it comes to first principle, which we're going to talk a little bit about in today's video as well. And then chapter 21, the roaster. One of the most important decisions that Elon Musk made about Tesla, the defining imprint that led to its success, it's like its own key components rather than piercing together a car with hundreds of components from independent suppliers around the world which they indeed talk about it and tried it in the past but it was a totally chaos it take way too much time and um, really if you think about logistics side to work with hundreds of suppliers over the world for a startup is totally chaos he really believed that tesla shouldn't just assemble cars with components but he wanted Tesla to craft its own key components, ensuring control over everything, quality, costs, the entire supply chain. And this vertical integration was a game changer for him and for Tesla as a whole, especially now looking back 15 years later when Model Y had became one of the best-selling car on the planet of the first quarter of this year. Before the 1970s, that's actually what the auto industry they were doing. Right. In the early day of the Henry Ford and other pioneers, they did most of the work in house. And for some of you all have maybe seen the movie Ford versus F Ferrari. And in the movie where Carol Shelby was building the race car, they were literally making everything in house. And they were literally even making everything by themselves with their hands and testing them every single day. Right. Obviously, building race cars is different. Uh, than an electric car, but that goes into the trends back in the day in the auto industry. Designing with determination. For Elon, it wasn't just about the bigger picture. He cared about all the nitty gritty, from ensuring the car's perfect debuts to the minute detail of a door handle. And also he thought about how is somebody even going to get inside a car or how are they going to take a girl on, on a date if the car seat is way too small or way too uncomfortable for people to get in? For example, like Elon Musk and Steve Jobs, because to other people, it seemed like, oh, this is just my job. I just want to make sure my job is done right. Maybe as an engineer, they didn't quite think think about the manufacturing process or as a designer didn't quite think about the manufacturing process but in the case of elon musk specifically right he really tied it the design manufacturing engineering all tied in back together right so and then in the books elon made over uh, revisions over and over again and it turned out to be quite costly and that actually directly lead to later on the tesla really needed financing 
which is more money to be raised. The story about the door handle. At the beginning, the first roaster uh, just had a typical door handle. It's very like a normal car, right? So somebody who's buying a Tesla roaster will buy it whether it has ordinary door latches or electric ones. It's not going to add a single unit to our sales. Musk, he really believed that the electric door handle could create a unique experience for the owners and which indeed it became a cool feature for the owners of tesla right and then it's the whole package of magic of experience and steve jobs has many great quote about this when it comes to design and i will leave one in the end so they're looking for more financing and uh, elon went back to his old pal moritz who was at sequoia capital at the time and Musk took him out for a ride in the roaster, and uh, this guy was absolutely mind blown by the speed. So, and then in the end, he said, I really admire that ride, but we're not going to compete against Toyota. It's mission impossible. Years later, Morris conceded, I didn't appreciate the strength of Elon's determination, which is the whole theme about not only today's video, but also the whole book. Ever since he was a kid, till he was determined to move to Canada, from Canada to transfer to America and then go to the Silicon Valley. And then one mission after another, focus on the electric cars, were very curious and passionate about AI safety. Every single time that he's so determined about getting things done, so determined about seeing his visions realized in the world. I think that's one of the biggest components that set him apart from the other entrepreneurs out there in the world, right? Um, then we talk about why. So because almost any, any new technology initially has high unit cost before it can be optimized. And this is no less true for electric cars. The strategy of Tesla is to enter the high end of the market where customers are prepared to pay a premium and then drive down market as fast as possible to higher unit volume and lower prices with each successive model, which is exactly how Tesla has been doing, right? Size, when it comes to solving the problem about design, he was beefing with his co-founders because they were arguing about uh, who gets the credit. At a roster launching event, um, both Musk and Amber Hart spoke and his co-founder said, you can have a car that's quick and you can have a car that's electric. But having one that both is how you make electric cars popular. And Elon said, until today, all electric cars sucked. Buying the roadster would help fund Tesla so that it could make a mass market vehicle. Tesla executives are not paid high salaries and we don't issue dividends. All free cash flow goes completely into driving the technology to lower costs and make cars that are more affordable. And also, I'm curious about which speech do you think is better? Feel free to comment down below. Leadership principles. So in the end of the day, Elon is just a human and he makes mistakes too and get caught up in the drama as well. And I list out two quotes here for us to reflect upon. John Wooden said, it is amazing how much can be accomplished if no one cares who gets the credit. Extremely influential Chinese philosopher, he written in the Tao Te Ching as well. When the best leader's work is done, the people said, we did it ourselves. Let that sink in for a moment. A leadership principle number two, determination. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. And Seneca said, it's not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that things are difficult. And that's something that i constantly reflecting upon. And in the end, the most important one is that the relentless pursuit of perfection in design. And Steve said that we think the Mac will sell zillions, but we didn't build the Mac for anybody else. We built it for ourselves. We were the group of people who were going to judge whether it was great or not. We weren't going to go out and do market research. We just wanted to build the best thing we could build. And Steve Jobs was known for his relentless pursuit of perfection in design, both in terms of aesthetics and functionality, and Elon Musk as well. So throughout this video, we've explored not only the engineering and manufacturing hurdles that Elon faced 
but also the managerial challenges that often go unnoticed. These multifaceted problems give a true glimpse into the complexity of leading a revolutionary company or being an entrepreneur. And this biography series resonates with me deeply. And as someone who's passionate about business and entrepreneurship, diving into such stories offers raw and filtered insights and lessons you wouldn't traditionally find in a business school syllabus. I will leave you with a thought from Steve Jobs. Design is the fundamental soul of a man-made creation that ends up expressing itself in successive altered layers of the product or service. Let's reflect on it and till next time. To all the visionaries out there, keep pushing the boundaries. This is Jazzy. New episode of the biography series coming out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Thank you so much for watching.